Hey local hoops, Dr. Ray Sutton, Tree here. Uh, in this video, we're gonna focus on the hip and doing cars at the hip. We just went over tibial cars or shin cars. Now it's through the hip. Again, cars stands for controlled articular rotations. Tari is gonna be on all fours on her knees and hands, and she's gonna work her right hip in this particular video. So she's going to bring her leg up and then bring it out and do a circular motion and bring the leg up behind her and bring it back down to the start position. That's one repetition. And uh, you wanna do these exercises slowly and controlled. And the great thing about being on the hands and the knees is it really isolates the movement at the hip uh, the best. I mean, you can do it in standing, certainly, the same exercise. But uh, it's very apt for you know most people to kind of compensate because it can be very challenging. So now we're going to go and uh, change it into the other direction. So we'd go 10 in one direction and then we switch it up and go 10 in the other direction. Just like that. And then you would switch sides. All right. Um, so that's hip cars. Give that one a try and notice how Tree is not really moving her hips or her shoulders to try to compensate. Yes, see that's a bad example. What you exactly what you don't want to do. You want to isolate the movement just at the hip um, socket right there. Perfect. Again, ten in one direction, ten in the other direction, and switch sides. Be great to do this kind of uh, on a rest day or recovery. Uh, from your uh, workouts or from even practice. Uh, your hips are really important in terms of, you know, getting the most out of your legs uh, as you explode and go to the hoop. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Give those ones a try and we'll see you again soon.